that for many years scientists have thought the brain was fixed and hardwired and couldn't change after childhood. But recent research shows this is simply not the case at all, and we know that people's brains can change well into old age. In fact, our brains change every day. Our brains are considered to be plastic or pliable, and this has helped neuroscientists coin the term neuroplasticity. So how does neuroplasticity work? Well, think of your brain as a huge city with thousands of roads and lots and lots of traffic. Some of these roads are faster than others, with lots of traffic moving quickly and easily. These roads with all their traffic represent our established ways of thinking, feeling and doing. Every time we think, feel or do something in the same way, we strengthen this road, making it faster and it becomes quicker and easier for our brains to travel this pathway. But by contrast, if a road wasn't built well in the first place, or becomes blocked or we think, feel or do something differently, we start to use a different pathway. If we keep using that new road, our brains begin to use this pathway more and more and this new way of thinking, feeling or doing becomes automatic. In the meantime, the old pathway gets less and less use and weakens. In other cases, it may be possible to repair or rebuild a block pathway. This process of rewiring your brain by strengthening existing pathways, making new ones, weakening old ones and repairing broken ones is neuroplasticity in action. It is important to understand that neuroplasticity is not good or bad. It is just what the brain does. Neuroplasticity can result in helpful changes, like when a child learns how to cross a road safely, or when an adult learns a new set of work skills. On the other hand, it can result in unhelpful changes in the brain, like when someone develops a bad habit or an unhealthy way of thinking. The exciting thing is that scientists are getting better and better at directing neuroplasticity in the brain and developing treatments for conditions that were considered to be previously incurable or at least difficult to fix. Things like ADHD and learning disorders, anxiety, depression, chronic pain and migraines for example. At the Perth Brain Centre we've helped thousands of people over the last 10 years. We have a team of healthcare professionals who are skilled in the use of neuroplastic therapies and we look forward to helping you or someone you know.